fields with turnovers, and then you know we kind of fell apart there in the second half. You say the thing that gives you juice is a guy stepping up to make the play. Like, where was that guy? Well, I mean, I think early on there were some some decent plays. There were some plays that that we thought were that I thought were good. Just watching, you know, what I mean, trying to affect the quarterback. You know, we, he scrambles on the first couple third downs. You know, then it's kind of too easy. The conversions, we got some stops. Came up with a fourth down stop. We forced him to kick a field goal. Um, you know, and then offensively, I just got behind the chains. You know, early after after that first um, touchdown. So. I felt like that was a great drive. That's exactly how we want to play the game. Went down there, um, committed to a, a short yardage run, scored a touchdown, um, but then just you know weren't able to do enough after that. As Stephon Diggs starts to kind of get loose, was there any thought like to mix it up and try to avoid the matchups? It seemed like they were creating more. Well, I think that some of that, um, you know, off the RPO, and you know, we're we're we're, we're certainly trying, and you know. Mixing coverages, you know, mixing split safety, post safety, and um, you know, then then we you know we pressure there, and he he pulls it, and you know gets inside the corner. Well, we'll. I mean, I, I hope you know. I mean, I hope that we can't. You know, in this league, nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Um, we understand that. We don't. We don't expect that. We don't want anybody to. We have to get things fixed. We have to figure out how to win a game, get back home, and um, get back to work. You replaced a guy who was up two punts in, in two games with your most reliable guy, and, and he couldn't feel the punt either. What's going on back there? Well, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we'll, we'll make sure that you know we're trying to get as much work in as, as we can and, and taking care of it. But you know that's certainly been something that's uh, hurt us here in the past. You know, a couple weeks. Did you continue to give him Kyle opportunities like that after back-to-back -back weeks? That well, I would like to. I mean, I think he's you know, done a nice job in the preseason. Did a nice job uh, on the return. Um, but you know, ball security and taking care of the football is is critical. Is a is a recipe for defeat if you if you can't take care of the football and and cause a lot of turnovers. Mike, the run game. Well, that's something that we're going to have to look at and see, um, you know, where where we can find where we can hang our hat, you know. And I think that there were times where, you know, we got them covered up and we were close, and you know, just not breaking any, you know, like we used to. And so we'll have to see if it's at the second level or, you know, if it's just one guy. Um, but that that has to be something that that we can do um, better than we've done it the past two weeks. Fence face mask was one of several penalties that undid things you had. I think 17-yard gain there. Instead, he went backwards 15 yards. It's just too tough, tough to sustain stuff. Against yeah, you can't. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be really, really good. Um, and you can't hand him anything. We've talked about that. Um, trying to make him earn it. Um, and then playing behind the chains is just, you know, they're, they, they're rushing and you know, they're coming after the quarterback. And um, so you can't, you know, I mean, those, those penalties are, those are going to cost you. Mike, did it a good point for pulling Ryan when you did, Mike? I'm just trying to get guys, uh, you know, through, through this game. You know, nobody wants to do that. Nobody, nobody wants to, to go out there and lose that way. Um, but I'm also um, a realist, and I understand, like, you know, where we were at and the situation that we were in. And, you know, try to, try to take some guys that, you know, I feel like are going to help us win next week. And everybody's valuable, but... You know, wanted to get get Ben out of there and, and Derek and some other guys. They they weren't the only guys, and um, and I felt like that was just a time to go with, you know, get Malik in there, get Hassan in there, get some other guys in there. Mike, losing the way you, you guys did, I guess, how much are you going to be leaning on the leaders in your locker room to make sure the morale stays high? I mean, we're going to rely on anybody that can help us win, and that wants to come to work with an attitude of improving. Um, of meeting and practicing, that, that's who we're going to rely on. And if that's the veterans, great. And if that's the young guys, great. But that's what we have to do. You know, we're going to have to come back, get ready, um, get practicing on Wednesday, get some rest as much as we can, and uh, prepare for, for another great opponent in this league. That, that's what it is. They've got explosive players, and 
but we, we're going to rely on anybody that's willing to help us and come in with a great attitude. When you have a game like this where you only score seven points, I mean, how much does play calling, how much does that involve in, in, in that outcome that you have? How much is play calling? I mean, playing and play calling go hand in hand. Um, you know, there's always going to be some plays out there as a player that you wish you had back. There's always going to be calls as a play caller that you wish you had back. Um, now is not the time. We've never done it. It's not going to be about one person. We got our asses kicked. Plain and simple. They outcoached us. They outplayed us. And, and that's the definition of it. And so we're going to get back to work, and, and we're going to figure out a way to win a football game. But when does it become to a point where, all right, we can't get outcoached. We can't get outplayed. I mean, I think that that's the whole idea. Like, you know, I mean, we want to make sure that, you know, what we're doing, you know, we believe in. It's been successful. Uh, it's going to continue to be successful. We just got to make sure that we're we're doing all the things that uh, that help us. Take a look at the film. Um, you know, I mean, you just you know, there's no magic call, Toronto. There's no no magic uh, formula. It's called getting back to work and doing it together. So worst loss uh -huh. you've had since since you've been here that the franchise has had. What's that say about what's come together out of what you guys did in the offseason and how good or bad you are? I don't know if it had anything to do with the offseason. I don't know if it had anything to do with preseason. Uh, we weren't very good tonight, uh, top to bottom. And uh, nobody did enough for us to win, and, in, including and starting with me. Both well, teams lost players with injuries, man. I mean, that's you get four. You know, I mean, you get forty-eight guys, and gotta make sure. You know, I mean, I thought Dennis went in there and you know tried to compete and, and did some things, and you know, obviously we lost some other guys, unfortunately, and um, never, never like to see players down on either side of the football field. Um, so I hope everybody's, you know, I mean, going to be okay. If you're down, Bud and Landry. I mean. How much can you expect guys to fill the place of those two guys? I mean, we'll see. You know, we'll see where we're at. You know, tomorrow when we get back and evaluate everybody's health and figure out which 48 guys we're going to take to the game. Yeah, it's brutal. Uh, yeah, haven't been a whole, part of a whole lot of games like that. So um, brutal, brutal night. Um, we have a lot of football out in front of us, so have to have to turn the page quickly on this one and get ready to go next week. Got a short week now, so um, this one's tough to swallow. But we can't sit around and and um, you know have the woe is me attitude. We have to be able to turn the page and uh, get some things fixed and, and come ready to go next week. I imagine you don't necessarily want to come out of the game no matter what the margin looks like. But what was kind of the conversation like with you? Yeah, just say it's a long, long season. Obviously, we were out of it at that point and um, didn't want to uh, suscept, you know, myself and a few other guys to uh, to injury. You know, we have to be able to, uh, like I said, get past this one quickly and be ready to go next week. Mike always says the way to come out of a funk or a flat period for the team is for somebody to step up and make a play. Where where was that guy? Yeah, we just didn't. Didn't uh, get it going, you know. I thought we moved the ball well early. You know, hurt ourselves with a few penalties. We killed some drives early, um, and then just just couldn't get it going. Well, run, pass game, it didn't really matter. You know, we we couldn't get it going. Um, have to play cleaner football, obviously, and um, and find something that can get us going. Ryan, you guys have been able to in the run game, obviously, for a while. Without that. Well, I think that's still what this this uh, organization believes in is, is being physical and, and, and run the ball. Obviously, you have to get some things cleaned up, but um, you know we'll take a look at the tape and, and see where we go from here. Just before halftime, you, you got set. It was seventeen to seven. You guys were getting the ball back after halftime. Kind of just I don't want to say packed it in, but you know just ran the time off the clock. You had some timeouts. Would you like to have been able to you know take some shots and try to get points in that? Yeah, you know, we got a first down. I think we were kind of close to midfield um, before the sack. Uh, so felt really confident that we're going to be able to go down and, and get points uh, in that drive. Um, you know, unfortunately had the sack there and, and uh, got way behind the stick. So, uh, you know, coach's decision to, uh, to take it to half, knowing that we were going to get the ball 
uh, coming out of half. But yeah, if we could have went down and got points right there, it would have been huge. It's the worst loss since uh, Brayton's been in charge here. What makes you think that you guys are, are better than you've been over these first two games? Yeah, it's, it's one night, right? I mean, uh, we're one play away, a kick away, um, or another play away from, from getting a win last week. And then, you know, this week, uh, obviously, we're a lot of plays away. So um, can't make it to be more than it is, but have to be uh, urgent and getting things turned around because we have no time to waste. We got another, another big game coming next week and, and 15 in front of us plus. So got to be able to, uh, to get the ball rolling in the right direction, find a way to win one game, and we'll go from there. Ryan, if, you know, obviously you haven't looked at film on, on this game, but are there any common threads in, like, the hot start? Like, you guys had opening drive touchdowns in each of the first two games, then just kind of a dud or penalties, whatever, not able to kind of get it back into the end zone. Maybe what, why, why do you think that is, that you guys haven't been able to really put pressure on a defense after that first drive? Yeah, I think... You kind of mentioned it there. You know, I felt like we were, we were getting into the drives a little bit, um, even after that that first touchdown drive. But then uh, hurt ourselves with penalties, and that killed a couple drives. And then, for whatever reason, you know, I don't know exactly what it was. We'll have to take a look at it and, and do a little bit of uh, talking and, and just kind of figure out exactly what happened. You know, was it uh, was it scheme? Was it just details of of chances that we had? Was it intensity? Um, I'm not sure what it is at this point, you know, but we have to take a look at that and, and get it fixed. What did you see or what maybe didn't you see on, on the interception? Um, yeah, I had a miscommunication there with Nick, and um, obviously what happened happened, and, and you can't do that. Obviously, you don't want to give up on the season. It is early, but what is it about? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's. Yeah. What is it about those guys in there that makes you like, okay, you know, we do have more football that we can turn it around. Yeah, we have a lot of belief in each other. Um, a lot of guys that I've played a lot of football with in that locker room that believe in each other. Uh, you know, we're two games into a, to a long season. Obviously, not the start we want, not the start we expected, but a lot of football out in front of us and a lot of confidence that, that we're going to get this thing going in the right direction. So I think it all starts with the belief with each other within that locker room and just knowing that you know we're going to get it fixed.